war. Und im Laufe der Jahre bis zu dieser Größe, wie wir zurzeit sind, ausgebaut worden. Weil mein Großonkel hat mit einer reinen Kokillengießerei angefangen. Dann ist ihm vor dem Zweiten Weltkrieg der Drogus dazugekommen. Und in den Anfang der 50er Jahre wurde dann die Modelldampfmaschinenproduktion übernommen, sodass wir heute drei grundsätzliche Bereiche haben, in denen wir unter anderem auch Automobilindustrie, Elektroindustrie, die Möbelindustrie und natürlich auch an den Dampfmaschinen die Wünsche der Kinder erfüllen können. For more than 50 years, Willesco has been fulfilling the wishes of not only children. Model steam engines and driven models, among other types which make collectors' hearts beat faster, are produced on an area of 10,000 square meters. Thus, Willesco is the biggest manufacturer worldwide in this branch. Production of the model steam engines begins with sheet brass on rings. Here, all boiler bottoms for all machine types are made by presses and at a pressure of several tons. Contrary to the general trend, production is still carried out in Germany today, and that is done for a very good reason. Model steam engines have to meet the high demands placed on safety and long life. Sharp edges and corners have to be avoided. That is only one of the many criteria for the steam engines to be awarded the GS symbol for approved safety. Just next door, another press is performing quite a different work step. What would a steam engine be without a boiler house? The machine is embossing meter for meter a brick pattern in copper-plated iron sheet and doing that non-stop every second. After all, several hundred boiler houses are needed every day for the final assembly. In this way, several tens of thousands of model steam engines leave the Willesco works gates every year. Boiler bottoms alone don't make a functional boiler. The main part is missing, the boiler tube. The holes needed later are punched on this hydraulic press. The Zielgruppe der Dampfmaschine erstreckt sich vom kleinen Kind, was sicherlich mit den Großeltern, mit den Eltern dieses Spielzeug, sage ich mal, erfährt oder erspielen kann. Und die Zielgruppe geht halt hinauf bis zu den älteren Herrschaften, die dementsprechend aus der Kindheit Originale noch in Betrieb gesehen haben, von der Straßenwalze über die Manufakturen, die unseren Wohlstand in Deutschland hergestellt haben. The probably most responsible work step is carried out in the soldering shop. The boiler bottoms and the boiler tube are soldered together here. Because the boiler is a particularly safety-sensitive component, no errors are allowed during boiler making. No rejects are produced simply owing to the high degree of experience of the employees. When the solder appears at the edge, the soldering step is finished here. All solder connections for the steam engines are made here. This also includes parts of the unit like the cylinder, but also valves such are needed, but which suppliers cannot make available at all or not in the required quality. In the next work step, the collar nuts are placed on the boiler and soldered into the previously punched holes. The boiler and collar nuts are firmly joined to each other using little rings made of solder. Later, the steam whistle, the spring safety valve and the steam pipes are screwed into these threads. Here as well, precision is required because, after all, the collar nuts must not detach from the boiler pipes under operating pressure.
polishing is carried out in the basement of the production building. And that does not mean spring cleaning. Here, all visible parts of the steam engines are polished brightly and all traces of manufacturing still existing are removed, especially those occurring during the soldering process. Some types of steam engines keep a brass look, such as our steam engine D21 being made here. The components for the machines are particularly well polished. The steam engine boilers are by far the largest part in the production program. They experience a magnificent transformation here. With the aid of electroplating, brass boilers become nickel-plated boilers as they are mainly needed in the model steam engine production at Willesco. However, before the nickel coating is deposited onto the components, the boilers have to go through numerous chemical bars. The chemical bars ensure that no contamination adheres to the boiler surfaces. With the aid of electrolytic degreasing, even the last traces of grease are removed from the boilers. Only an absolutely dirt and grease-free surface ensures the formation of a clean and flawless nickel coating. The boiler gets its new look in this electrolytic bath. By using an electrical voltage, nickel is deposited onto the brass boiler and after approximately 10 minutes in the bath, a strong and durable shining surface is formed. Finally, the nickel-plated boilers are once again washed to remove adhering residues of the electrolytic bath. After that, the boilers go into a centrifuge. The individual components are dried in warm air in the centrifuge. The sicherheitsrelevant parts of a damp machine are the kessel and the feder-sicherheitsventil. We have a 100% inspection wobei die Kessel mit einem dreifachen Betriebsdruck abgedrückt werden und somit die Dichtigkeit gewährleistet ist. Thus at Willesco every boiler passes through a strict test which can also be called a pressure test. Here at the latest a manufacturing fault would become immediately noticeable. The employee responsible for the boiler test assures us that she has never got wet due to a boiler leaking, let alone bursting during the test. <laughs> 